Hi everybody, I hope that you're all keeping well. Today I'm just going to talk about something that's going on with my MS at the moment because as well as this channel being somewhere to help others with their MS, I also want to use it as somewhere that can show me my journey in the future so I can see where my MS was in the past and where it's going to and where it's going to progress in the future so it's kind of like a timeline for me to gauge what is going on with my multiple sclerosis. Three days ago I lost complete vision in both of my eyes. I couldn't see anything at all in front of me. My vision was completely blurred. It only lasted for about six or seven seconds and then I had immediate pain on turning my eye to the left. It's affected my left eye which normally happens so straight away I knew that I had optic neuritis again. However as many times that I've had optic neuritis I've never ever had the vision loss. Normally most people when they experience something like this they may go to their MS team as their first port of call but a lot of the time your team will probably ask you if you've been to see your opticians because they will usually have the equipment to be able to look into your eye and check to see if the retina is inflamed and if it's something like optic neuritis. I went to go and get an appointment at my opticians and I was diagnosed with retrobulbar optic neuritis which is fairly common in somebody who has multiple sclerosis. The issue being with this type of optic neuritis is that actually the opticians don't have the equipment to look in detail at the back of your eye because with retrobulbar optic neuritis it's actually the retina to the brain which is affected and they're not able to see that. So I am going to get an appointment at the hospital to go and be seen and get checked over and have a scan at the back of my eye to actually see what's going on. I think for me and I also think for the optician as well when we were talking about this is really the fact that it came with this vision loss which I've never had before and I think that on the back of that I have some questions in the fact that you know is the retina being damaged every time this is happening? And if so, what does this damage mean going forward? So having another bout of optic neuritis, does this mean that the retina is going to be damaged again? And does this mean more permanent damage, which leads to vision loss in the future? Who knows? And these are the kind of questions that I want to know really about this because um, you want to know what you're dealing with and you want to know what to expect in the future. I have had um, an extremely stressful couple of months. I think that this has definitely had an effect on um, my optic neuritis flaring up. I think lack of sleep, I think stressful periods, I think um, long journeys as well because I've just come back from Ireland and you just typically being thrown out of your routine so I this is why we always talk about stress and being able to <laughs> it when where possible live in a stress-free environment but it's not always easy I'm always so for sharing information especially when it comes to sight vision pain in the eye and if you get anything like this, if you have any symptoms of pain in the eye, then please don't ignore it. Go to your opticians and go and ask them if they can do some sight tests and make sure that your eye is okay and that you don't have any sign of optic neuritis in the back. And even if they can't see it, then they will refer you on to somebody who is able to look at the back of your eye and scan it and make sure that that's all okay for you. But as I said, I'm going to go and get checked over by the hospital and find out what this retrobulbar optic neuritis really means because I have been diagnosed with it before. But again, you're not always told exactly what that means for you and what it means for your eye and the long term effects of it. So 
I will keep you updated and as I said I hope everybody's okay and I will catch up with you soon.